Hey, I didn't think I would have to do another video on retail so soon, but today, like, people, this, these people, oh, I'll get to that in a minute. things I want to add like don't put your money on the counter don't throw your money on the counter don't put your money on top of the clothes I'm ringing up the clothes I gotta fold it what do you want me to do fold the money with the clothes I just find it rude when people put the money on the counter and I have to pick it up especially if it's coins and stuff like if when my nails are long, I can't really pick up coins that are on the table. And I don't, I'm not rude to you and, like, put your money on the counter and have you pick it up. When I'm giving you your change back, I give it back to you in your hand. Same goes for credit cards. Like, I just find it rude when people, like, don't want to put it in my hand. I don't have cooties. I wash my hands all the time. So, I'm not going to give you any germs. If I'm sick, I make sure that I, like have my Purell on me. Next thing. When you're shopping, pay attention. Because today, okay, I'm going to be really racist right now because I'm still pissed off, so anybody who's African or whatever, go away because I'm going to offend you and I don't, give a sh I don't care. I'm going to start cursing too, so if you if curse words offend you, leave now. I'll wait. You ain't leave yet. I'll put another video right here for you. All right. Okay. These four African women come up to me talking about I want to return stuff. I'm like, okay, there's a line. You have to wait. They get online. I take care of other people. Guess who gets the African people? So this lady comes to me with a big old receipt, a big old bag. And how we do returns is, like, we check the tag. First, we make sure the clothes ain't dirty, clothes ain't nothing wrong with them. We check the tag, and then we look for the corresponding numbers on the receipt. So this lady was returning a lot of shit. So I had to keep doing it, and it was annoying. And then, one of the pants didn't have a tag on it, so I had to go find the other pants. And then, blah, 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 I couldn't get the thing, and so I had to get a manager. So, returned that lady's stuff. It was like $250 of the stuff she returned. Cash. I had to give her $250 in cash. This other lady comes. Three different seats, three different bags. One of the receipts are as long as my arm. But one of, like... I can't even show you because the camera doesn't span that far. But one of the seats was long as shit. And then it was getting annoying because I had to keep going up and down the receipt looking for shit. And then she had shit on another receipt. But that receipt was shorter, thank God. So I returned her shit. Then she's like, you only took off one. You only took off one. Of, what, is that the price for both of them? You only took off one. I'm like, you only gave me one to return. How am I supposed to give you money for two when you only returned one? And then she had some other shit to return, but she had to return that in the department she bought it in. And then she's like, I want these flip-flops. So she, like, pushes them at me, throws the money at me. So I ring her up real quick, and... The price of the flip flops three forty nine plus tax it came up to three dollars and seventy three cents. The lady gave me a ten dollar bill, so change she got back was six dollars and twenty eight cents. And then my manager told me go on my break because it's past eight o'clock and I was supposed to been gone on my break, so I went on my break. My manager had to come find me in McDonald's to come. And because the lady was like, I took her money, and I didn't get her change or a receipt. So, I'm walking, and I'm sitting, I was at McDonald's, I'm sitting, and I walk back over there. The lady's like, 
you didn't give me my change. You didn't give me a receipt. I'm like, yes, I did. Slippers cost three seventy three. I gave you back six dollars and twenty eight cents. I gave you a receipt in your hand. She's like, no, you didn't. Blah blah blah. This and that. Why does bitch go through her bag? She finds a fucking receipt. And then some ladies grabs the slippers like you didn't have to be rude. It's like I was never rude. I was about to go off, but my manager was like, just calm down, walk away. Cause swear to God, that manager was not there. I would have went off on that lady. Because I was nothing but nice this lady. I didn't say anything mean. But she's gonna tell how you, oh, how am I gonna be so rude? Bitch, I don't work for you. I don't have to be nice to you if I don't want to. So I went back, finished my break, left out. I'm walking out of McDonald's and then my manager comes up to me and is like, it looked like those ladies was outside of McDonald's waiting for you. People want to test my gangster now. I'm like, I will seriously take my name tag off. I quit and fuck somebody up in McDonald's. Not McDonald's. And fuck somebody up in a department store. I don't care. I leave out the name of my department store because I don't want nobody finding me. And if other people that happen to work there find out, I don't need, yeah. So, I don't need nobody. I don't, don't give a shit. Y'all don't pay me enough to deal with all this bullshit. I just found that very rude and... Just because they're from a different country, they look look down on you, like that's not that's not that's not right. Just because I'm working behind a register does not mean I'm poor or this I'm that. Cause I know plenty of other people who work with me. This is like their third job. This is their job that they do to get extra money because this job pays every week have other people during the day they're like social workers they work in hospitals they got this they got that they got a job with benefits they're just doing this get a little extra money in their pocket since the economy is so slow i i i don't blame them I'm about to get another job myself but those ladies were the ones that were rude to me how are you gonna come shopping it's a group of four of you how are all y'all gonna turn your back on me i could have stole money from you and y'all wouldn't even know because y'all back was towards me the whole time i was doing the four returns don't tell me i'm rude when y'all wasn't fucking paying attention y'all better get your shit straight because y'all are so lucky them two managers were right behind me because i would have went off and i had other people that would have helped me curse you out I know they're probably not watching, but I am mad. Because I hate when people do does this shit to me. Like, seriously. Because I am nothing but nice to people. But when you piss me off, when you cross that line, it's over. So that I, you would have touched me, I probably would have been in jail. My mother probably would have been trying to bail me out right now. Probably been crying trying to bail me out right now. But still. What was the point of this video? Don't put your money on the counter. That's rude. When you're shopping in a group, don't ignore the cashier and then try to blame them for something when you weren't paying attention to the beginning. Because I made sure I make sure I put your money and your receipt in your hand when you pay me cash. And when you pay me credit card, I ask if you want me to put it in a bag. So, no, I even rang up the flip-flops. I'm like, do you want a bag? They don't pay me no mind. And then my manager's like, hurry up and go on your break. So, I went on my break. Fucking people, man. Piss me off. Anyway, um... I gotta go back to fucking work tomorrow. I'm mad. If somebody... If some, I swear to God, somebody pushed me over the edge, I'm gonna be like, you know what? I got time for this. I quit. Too young, I'm too young to be having high blood pressure. I don't have high blood pressure, but I really don't have a really high tolerance for rude people. Especially when I'm nice. I'm smiling, and then you're like, okay. she didn't get, she took my $10, she took my $10. What the fuck I need $10 for? Today's payday, bitch. I got more than $10 in my pocket. Okay, I'm going to end my rant now, because it's <laughs> long.